On previous episodes of KYF, we've talked about several aspects of our faith and how it um, affects our daily life. Um, but today, we'll be talking about something different. So we'll be talking about fear. And this is something that we face every day. Welcome to Know Your Faith series. I am Collins. And today, like I said, I'll be giving you tips on how to live in faith. So the word fear... Um, the word itself describes or evokes the emotion that it describes. Um, anytime, I mean, even like I just said now, if, 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 I, if someone comes up to you and just say, fear, it, there's some sort of emotion that really just evokes in you. Um, so we see in Isaiah 41.10 where God reassure, reassures us that we should not be afraid. It says, do not be afraid for I am with you. Do not be discouraged for I am your God. So th that is God reassuring us and telling us not to focus on the fear. So, but then again, we live in a world where um, filled with violence, hatred, and threats. So how can, as people of faith, how can we navigate this world? Today, I'll be sharing with you five tips with which you could live constantly in faith. So the first is to define the proper source of the confidence for faith. Um, just like, I mean, other experiences, even, I mean, if you look at, any experience you find yourself in, there's always something that you always go back to, probably to, um, even if it's your exams, you go back to your books to always try to get more information. Likewise here, you have to continue, um, continuously fill your faith. So different sources, we have the scriptures, um, constantly having communications with God, um, reflecting on the CCC or the Youth Friendly Youth Cut, or even watching um, episodes on uh, Dominican Media for KYF and Catholic Faith Forum, and several other sources. Two is to develop the strength to endure fear. So just like long uh, marathon um, runners, it's important that we have that um, endurance or that strength to be able to go the long distance, seeing as we are also running the race of salvation. And like I said, Isaiah 41.10 reassures us of this strength. Number three is to pray for perspective. Our view of God is limited on earth here. So um, the truth is we go through some things and we begin to, certain questions begin to rise up, you know, um, why is this happening? And then we don't really understand. It's important that we pray for perspective so that we can be able to understand these things. The fourth is the right relationship produces bravery and faith. A lot of us don't have um, like a, an honest relationship, you know, in, in truth, both with our fellow humans or with God. Having a transparent relationship with God is a powerful weapon over fear. The truth is, everyone has fear. So um, being afraid is not the problem. It's what you do with that fear that really determines, okay? And finally, clearly, have a clearly defined self-care and faith. I, I think a, a whole lot of time we overlook the physical aspect of life um, because we're probably too spiritual. But it's also important that you look at your, um, your take care of yourself, really. Okay, um, your medical, um, make sure you go for medical checkups because I mean, we even know that worrying too much can shorten your lifespan. Yeah, so it's always good to be like, have free joy, exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Always good to try to worry less, about, especially about things that you can change, okay, and have that constant faith in God. All right, so the truth is um, knowing our focus drives the overall direction of our faith. So I'm going to reiterate the tips for you. First, um, define the purpose of, of, of your faith. Two, develop the strength to end your fear. Three, pray for perspective. Four, the right relationship produces bravery and, f and faith. And five, have a clearly defined self-care. So if you have any other tips that you can share with us, please feel free. Um, write down in the comment section. Continue to like and share our content. Until I come your way next time, be bold and be Catholic. <laughs>